Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week. I'm Tom Crawford and this week we're answering Carol's question. Here's a query I've been pondering for some time. We live in tropical North Queensland, Australia, where ants and getting rid of them is part of the day-to-day. When brushing them down the sink, I sometimes stop to watch them and I'm always intrigued by their socialising patterns. I want to know, are they sentient creatures? Do they feel pain? Don't worry, Carol. I'm sure we've all killed an ant or two in our time, whether it's by accidentally stepping on them or the more sinister burning alive with a magnifying glass as a child. But do they feel pain? That's actually a really good question. Eleanor Drinkwater from the University of York, whose PhD is entirely on these six-legged creepy crawlies. Ants can definitely sense that they've been harmed and react. But it's been argued that there's a difference between simply sensing harm and reacting to it, or actually experiencing pain. Just sensing damage, but not feeling pain, is what's known as nociception. I find it hard to separate the idea of feeling pain and just reacting to danger. It's worth just thinking about what pain is. It's thought to involve an unpleasant sensation as well as a negative emotional reaction to injury. You get nociception, which is the sensory nervous system informing the brain that you've been hurt, and then the brain processes this to produce pain. But you can get one without the other. You can think of it like this. If you get tackled while doing sport, your sensory receptors may signal to the brain that something has happened. But it's only when you stop and realise how bad the injury is that you feel the pain. Ow! On the other hand, people who have lost a limb may experience phantom limb pain, in which they experience pain but without nociception. So we know that ants can sense harm and react to it, which is to say they experience nociception. But what about actual pain? Interestingly, claims for the idea that insects can experience nociception without experiencing pain are somewhat backed up by studies on robots. Danger. Robots can be programmed to exhibit behaviours that we would tend to think of pain-like. For example, simroid robots used for dentist training will flinch if you poke them. Or, say, in games like The Sims, characters may jump around if they've been burnt. The fact that these behaviours can be programmed without the need for a pain element has been argued as evidence for the idea that a negative stimulus can be reacted to without the emotional element. Are you saying that ants experience pain in the same way as the simps? Not exactly. My personal view is that unlike the human systems that these programmes mimic, we currently know very little about insect expressions of pain, and even less about the neural systems of the many different species of insect that there are. We do know that there are differences between insect and mammalian neural systems, so it's unlikely that insects experience pain in the same way that humans do. However, I don't think it's beyond the bounds of possibility that at least some species of insect have some kind of insect version of pain in addition to nociception. So basically, the jury's out. Either way, it's still good to be gentle with the little critters when you come across them. There you go, Carol. I hope we provided some insight, or should that be ant sight, into your question. Next week, we get a little topsy-turvy as we tackle Tim's question. Is there any explanation why the magnetic field of Earth is north-south as opposed to east-west or any other angle? What do you think? Tweet at The Naked Scientists, find us on Facebook or join in the debate on the forum, nakedscientists.com forward slash forum. And of course, don't forget to join us next time to find out the answer. <laughs>